Hey everyone, it's Baron from Attack Interactive and in this video I'm going to be talking about anything that is related to your tax um, configuration. So um, as usual, let's go to our system tab and click on configuration. We're going to find our tax options under um, sales. So let's click on tax and take a look at the tax page. Okay, so um, let's start with tax classes. Um, by the way, over here, uh, most of the stuff you see that is set for you, um, that you don't have to change most of the things here unless you want like specific tax or if you have a specific tax policy that you have to change. It all depends on, your, on how you're going to operate your store. So um, tax class for shipping, let's just leave it at none for now because um, this is going to be um, tax for shipping. If you um, know what to do for if you're gonna tax shipping or stuff like that you can um, change the um, options here let's keep up with calculation settings so tax calculation method based on the total price of um, the um, customers card so you um, this is pretty much um, default so you should leave that at total but if you want you can um, also choose unit price or row total for the tax calculation tax calculation based on shipping address uh, this should be probably should be should stay at shipping address but you can also choose billing address or shipping origin for that catalog prices this is the prices um, that customers see so if, if you're um, if you use including tax if you choose including tax instead of excluding tax what's gonna happen is let's assume you you're selling a t-shirt and it's twenty bucks if you choose including tax twenty dollars is gonna include the tax so you so, so what you're gonna get from that t-shirt is gonna be less but if you exclude the tax you put twenty dollars the price for that for the t-shirt would be twenty dollars plus tax so um, you're gonna get more money in that case it all depends on how you wanna use your um, taxing um, options apply customer tax after discount or before discount so this should be probably should be before discount so that um, we apply the tax before the discount if there is one this would make more sense but once again it all, it's all up to you apply discount on prices excluding tax apply tax on custom price if available so if here if you choose original price it's gonna apply tax on the original price only but if there's a custom price it would apply the tax as well default tax destination calculation um, this is gonna be the default country is United States default state is any state and then default postcode is any postcode right price display settings so um, this is a little bit different than the um, catalog prices part because this is gonna be the um, display product prices in catalog and display shipping prices excluding tax so um, this is how they're gonna see the tax so if you choose including and excluding it's gonna show two prices if you choose including tax it's gonna say um, the price plus tax which what's this is what is this is gonna do is that it's just gonna separate the um, tax and it's gonna show displayed on the catalog if you choose to have including tax this is something else this um, the display is just to for you to customers to understand shopping cart display settings um, this is gonna be your customers shopping cart page how they see the cart and prices and taxes in, in, in the cart so if you choose once again to have including and excluding tax uh, Magento is gonna show them the both prices um, let's leave it with excluding tax for now display subtotal is the same story this is gonna be the each price for the unit the subtotal and then the shipping amount excluding tax including so whatever you um, enter for for the um, shipping amount it's going to be excluding the subtotal prices this is all depends on 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 how you're going to operate your store it's not the it's not a bad decision to choose including and excluding so that they would have a sense of what's going on 
but once again excluding tax at the end they're just gonna see everything see the tax see the price and the tax so you can use however you want it include tax in grand total you can choose to have that or not display full tax summary you can choose to display a summary of the tax display zero tax subtotal same story orders invoices credit memos display settings so this is the um, order and invoice and credit memo page so you can also choose the, there you have same options going on here for the um, subtotal prices and shipping amount you can once again include tax in grand total um, have a tax summary or display zero tax sub subtotal fixed product taxes um, this is something that is really specific if you um, have to use this this should be another tutorial because this is a deep topic um, and probably it's a good idea to include that in, in another video but if you want to use fixed product taxes let's say um, the product kind the type of product is gonna uh, be have fixed um, taxes all the time so that's where you um, set that up as I said it is something um, customized so that you don't have to worry about that okay so um, this was the um, tax configuration under your system tab now let's take a look at um, tax under sales tab so what you have here is manage tax, tax rules zones rates import export tax tax classes customer and product so um, let's take a look at manage tax rules actually let's first go to zones and rates so by default we have California and New York um, let's click on California so here is the you, sh you can edit your zone rates using um, that page so tax identifier it's gonna be US California rate 1 United States California um, and then every um, zip and postcode the rate percent is gonna be 8.25 so you can choose to um, add more states for this and add more rates so and then add the rate from here as usual so let's go to um, tax rules for now so what's over here is that um, your um, retail customers and under taxable goods which is everything you sell on your store is a taxable good and rate one so you can have wholesale customers and have different taxing or whatever you're just gonna do it from here so to do that you would have to go to um, tax rules page and let's take a look at this yeah this is where you're gonna do it um, you're gonna have to go to customer tax classes which I'm gonna be um, covering it in a, in a few minutes so it will take you to the to this page and you can add more whole wholesale customers or whatsoever so product tax class is tax it's a taxable good and then tax rate it's um for New York and California for now um, same priority um, calculate of subtotal no we don't want that sort order number one is fine so let's just save this and take a look at other pages so import export you can always choose to import and export your tax classes like you can do for most of the stuff in Magento you would just have to export it before doing anything so that you'll have a safe um, file something goes wrong you'll just import that once again customer tax classes so we just have retail customers I'm planning to have retail on the store so I'm not gonna add something else but you can always choose to add more stuff from over here alright so product tax classes shipping and taxable goods so you don't have any um, editing option here it's just a name right let's go to um, catalog and manage product so that we can apply these taxes f 
or the items that we didn't apply before. So I just set it up my tax configuration and tax under the sales, the rules, and the zones. From now on, the products I'm going to add is going to have these um, tax out tax options automatically. But the products I added before, they're not assigned for any um, taxing. So let's click on one of the products and click on edit. This is going to and then go to prices page. It's going to sh sh have a tax class. Right now it's none. It should be taxable goods. And if we save it, right now that product is taxable so if we take a look at our web page actually let's um, go back to our um, configuration tab and let me just um because when I was um, talking about the tax options I didn't choose the correct display settings for the cart so now I'm gonna do that okay um, so display prices including excluding I'm gonna choose this for everything so you would have a better understanding on what's going on there so now let's go back to our page and go to the checkout page and refresh this page so if you're logged in if you're as a guest it might not calculate the tax but if you're logged in if it has your address it's gonna calculate it so here we have our item the regular price and then excluding tax of course is the same price Including tax is the same price. Okay, this the tax didn't apply for this because this item we didn't change the tax setting to setting from manage products. So if you didn't set your tax and added products, it's gonna have no tax. You have to manually change it. But the products after add you, the products you add after you um, set your tax, they're gonna have it. So. We chose the TV show we added tax because it was none before. Now it's taxed. So it was 43 before excluding tax and 46.55 including tax. So um, if you choose, your customer can have a detailed summary of your tax, um, even the rate they can display. All right, so uh, here we are at the end of our tax tutorial. Uh, once again, this is Baron from Attack Interactive, and thank you for watching this video.